Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I want to show you a, a, a cool technique here, bringing together uh, a range of different uh, ideas, both from um, using DAX measures and also some visualization ideas. Okay, so what I'm trying to showcase here is I want to show, and 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 don't take this demo data to um, just the visualization here might not come out exactly how how I want but the I, I want you to take away the idea because it might be more relevant in a real data set this data set is just totally random so that is why we're not sort of seeing um, actually I could I could make it more real actually let's just have a look let's have a look through here um, I'm just gonna change I'm gonna change this to year sorry I should have had this sorted out before I started but um, okay then I'm just gonna get rid of the slicer because we don't need it Okay, so we, we can show through time the like the trajectory of a client, like how they are, how they are performing through time, and and I want to visualize it in a way that it's you know easily to see how someone moved from say one group to another group to another group through time. Okay, so what we need to do here, and I'm gonna um, do this by uh, creating a new a, some a ranking calculation, right? So we have some numbers here. Um, but we we don't we can't tell like as we look through these clients we can't really tell were they you know were they one of our top clients were they one of our bottom clients it's not as easy to sort of see that visually okay and so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new measure here that is just going to rank our um, customers for each different year okay so it's a simple ranking formula and I'll just go call it customer ranking okay and then we're going to use simple rank rank X going to go all customers here then go total revenue. And then I don't need anything there. And then I'm just going to go descending. Okay. So this is a simple rank rank X formula, um, which will rank every single one of our customers for every single year here. Okay. So I'm just going to sub this in um, to this particular visualization so we can see it. Okay. And then what I'll do, um, see, it looks like 2019 isn't really adding any value there. So we could get rid of it. But um, so you see here, like some of these customers are sort of ranked high all the time. But say, for example, this particular customer here, Rod, Roger Griffin, was ranked high one year, low another year, and then ranked a little bit higher. I guess what would be good as well is sort of like how many customers do we actually have? That would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? So um, I could create another measure here for total customers, right? And then I can just go count rows of the customer table. So that would give us this would give us you know, a good card that we can sort of put in here that would give us a bit of context. Um, so we have three thousand customers, right? So why don't we why don't we say okay, you know, one thousand, one thousand to one thousand is one group, and then two thousand to one thousand to two thousand is a group, and then two thousand and above is a group. Okay, but I want to show it here i don't want to i don't want to have to have this ranking formula here okay so what i'm going to do though is i'm going to come into this visualization and these values right um actually no what i want to do is i want to come here i want to come here to the conditional formatting okay and we want to do let's go background color okay now format by uh based on Uh, rules sorry format by color scale based on actually we want to format by rules okay and then I'm gonna go um, here I'm gonna select my customer ranking okay so I'm gonna then go if the value is greater than zero and less than say 1000 I want this to be the background color to be say this one then I'm going to go if it's greater than or equal to uh, greater than 1000 number and less than or equal to 2000 then I'm going to go this darker shade then I'm going to get another rule and say if it is greater than 2000 number and less than or equal to let's just like put some arbitrary large number in there then I want this to equal to an even darker color Okay, and then I go okay. So this is the this is the main part of it. These rules are being determined by that customer ranking. And then now what I and then what I would probably do here is maybe turn these values to white. 
you, you, it, the background color isn't the only way that you can do it you can do it many different ways um and then i probably need to just uh, field formatting see what do we got row headers um let's just put a darker background on this whole thing I need to get those column headers on a second. What I will do is I'll actually just get rid of this. I'll go none. That makes it a little bit easier. So values, we'll make it white. Sorry, there we go. Um, okay, so now with a little bit of additional uh, labeling, right? A little bit of additional labeling, we can kind of, you know, th this is the one downside of using this conditional forming. There's no labels, so you need to make sure that you somehow create some effective labels. We can then see through time how these, how these customers have jumped, right? So from memory, the lighter shade was a top ranked customer. So you remember the, the ranking is nowhere in this visualization, but we can see, okay, top rank, they were a top rank, top rank, and then it looks like they dropped in their rank there, okay? And so to me, this is this is a good way, a good technique to maybe visualize how a customer is traveling through time, okay? So I just wanted to highlight that idea. And obviously I've used years here. You can use any number of different techniques um, to to showcase this, right? Uh, and you see here that, this, and this is, this is another interesting thing that you might need to contend with as well, is when someone say, and this is just, this is just thinking, you know, thinking around how your consumer is going to use your report. This maybe doesn't work as well. When someone actually selects a, a product, we're still getting the rankings, but we're obviously looking at a, at a, at a customer set which is much smaller than um, than we've used in the past. This tooltip, by the way, is another video I created. This is this is this is this is seriously cool how you can create this dynamic map visualization in a tooltip. Um, but I've shown that in, a, in another video. But just rem remember, why why is this only showing the top ranked? Every why is everyone top ranked? Because there's just a smaller subset of customers, right? So maybe we might need a more dynamic number within the conditional formatting than just you know uh, um, instead of maybe maybe we need to go group one, group two, group three rather than using um, uh, uh, an absolute number of a thousand to a two thousand to unlimited, right? Okay, hopefully you like that one. Hopefully, that, so this gives you some ideas around how you can visualize things a bit differently. Um, uh, yeah, if you liked it, definitely throw the video a like uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, all the best, everyone.